happy June today. Hope you guys all had a great month of May. May was a good month, man. It started getting nice finally here. Uh, we had some really nice days, some really randomly hot ones, some nice storms. I like a good storm. Winnie, not a fan, but I like them. Um, and it's, grass is green and the trees have leaves on them and it's just good. It's just good. I felt like winter just dragged on this year. We didn't get a lot of snow or it wasn't terribly cold really, but it just just kept going. Um, but anyway, I'm back today to share some of my favorite things with you from the past month. And this ranges from clothes and accessories to beauty. Well, what I have previously called beauty, but now I'm thinking of calling like personal care items because um, they're not necessarily just beauty items. I think that will help me include more things because I've been like very um, consistent in what products I've been using over the past couple of years. So I don't often have new products to share with you. So I think personal care kind of makes more sense than saying beauty. So clothes and accessories, personal care items, um, home goods, multimedia, tasty treats, and at the very end, I talk about some of my mommy favorites. I am mom of a four month old, as of like this week, and a two year old. So I'll talk about a couple of my favorite stuff uh, picks for them. So clothes and accessories. It has been an exciting month for me. May was really exciting because May was the month that I fit back into my pre-pregnancy pants. Ah, it's just, it, I don't know what it is. Well, I guess it's not that much of a mystery. It just feels really gratifying to fit back in your pre-pregnancy pants. Um, and I've been living that pre-pregnancy pant life. I definitely have my mom form. I wear like a t-shirt and uh, basically crop jeans every day now that it's warmer out. These are my favorite. They're by AG. I bought them a couple of years ago. They're the, um, the bow, which is a slouchy skinny. So they're kind of like a boyfriend fit. They're very comfortable. They're super soft. I wear them to death. They help. They have held up great over the last couple of years, and I'm not gentle with them. And I wash and dry them, just like all my other clothes. Sadly, I went to look for them because I was like, I would like to buy another pair of these, even though they're they were pretty expensive because AG jeans are expensive. But in my opinion, they're they're the best, um, at least that I have tried up to now. Um, they don't make them anymore. I'm hoping they come back. So I'm sorry to talk about something that's not currently available, but I just, it, it's been a favorite of mine. And I do have a couple of other um, crop style jeans that are similar from Gap, um, but they're not as nice, but they're a lot less expensive. So I will link those below. I think they're called The Girlfriend and they are great too. Um, but um, yeah, AG, bring back the bow, they're the best. Um, so I've been loving those, living in those, and I also bought myself a new pair of sneakers. Um, these are technically running shoes. I don't currently run. My body just just not able to handle running right now with that kind of impact. Um, but I do walk a lot um, with my dog and my kids, and I'm on my feet a lot. I wear like house shoes at home that are very supportive um, but I needed new outdoor sneakers and we're outdoor a lot outdoors a lot now with the nice weather these are Mizuno wave riders I did a lot of research to find a shoe that would accommodate my poor feet I need a wide toe box I need a lot of support um, I have custom orthotics so I need to be able to take the insoles out um, so I finally landed on these and they are so great. My feet actually like them. My feet have taken such a beating since I've been pregnant. I mean, I, I didn't have great feet before I was pregnant. I have bunions I've had my, my entire adult life and they've gotten progressively worse. Um, and pregnancy was just really tough on them. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of stress on your feet. Um, and as it turns out, I found out with this pregnancy, my feet grew. I'm still not sure if I'm a I used to be a seven. I've been a seven my entire adult life. Um, I'm either a seven and a half or an eight now. I haven't been professionally measured. I just know by the kinds of shoes I've been buying. Well, I mean, I went through a couple of pairs of sneakers. I love Zappos because you can order online and it's free shipping to you and then it's free returns. So that's how I do my shoe shopping lately because I can't be bothered to go shoe shopping in the store apparently. These are a seven and a half. They fit really well. So maybe I am a seven and a half now, which isn't a huge shoe size difference but it kind of like ruins my shoe collection because 
yeah. Some of my older shoes are so stretched out that I can still wear them, like a couple of my flats that I've tried, but especially shoes that I'm not, not gonna wear for a long period of time or to do a lot of walking in. Anytime I'm on my feet for any extended period of time, I'm wearing sneakers. Um, but I'm sure like, my I, I can't even imagine getting in a heel right now, but I'm sure those have to go. Um, so anyway, those have been great and I love, love, love them. So for personal care item of the month, I tried a new skincare product. Now it's not that new because it's from the brand I've been obsessed with for the past couple of years, which is Drunk Elephant. This is the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I will hold it up for you so you can see it. This is a newer eye cream for them. I have loved their eye serum for the past couple of years, um, but it is that, it's a serum. It's not quite, it's not as emollient as a full on cream would be, although it's very effective. And I was using that night and day for a long time. And then um, at the last Sephora sale, I purchased this because it was new and I wanted to try it. And it is everything I was hoping that Drunk Elephant would put into a real eye cream. It packs all the punch of the eye serum in terms of how effective and hydrating it is, but it is more thick and emollient, but it sinks in nicely to the skin. It does not have a scent, at least not one that I can tell. And I love it. And it has been my night eye cream now. Now I just use the eye serum in the morning. I use this at night. And I feel like it does help a lot. My under eye area is another place on my body that's, well, let's be honest, there's a lot of parts of your body that take a severe beating after having a baby. But especially, you know, just being more sleep deprived in the past four months, um, I definitely have, um, you know, under eye puffiness and um, dark circles and just more lines as I'm getting older and just more like my skin is just you know wear and tear um, and I feel like this really makes a visible and marked difference um, so I absolutely love that I really do okay for home goods now I've talked about my hydro flask before it is my favorite it is um, a metal I think it's a stainless steel lined um, water bottle. It is unbelievable how well it is at insulating your beverage. Even my husband, I bought him one too, even my husband who never like notices anything like that, comments on how great it is at keeping his water cold. Um, I prefer warm room temperature water, so this keeps my water at room temperature regardless of the temperature inside or outside. It is great. Well, I recently real noticed that they came out with some new accessories for it, um, so I thought I'd share that today. They came out with a boot. I love the metal water bottle. It's great. It doesn't impart a flavor onto the water as certain other stainless steel water bottles I've tried in the past have. Um, and it is, like I said, very effective in like maintaining your temperature, but I don't like how it clangs on counters, especially when you have little kids and you're trying not to make like a huge noise or anything. And you have a, you know, you have a noisy water bottle that just clangs every time you even gently put it down. The rubberized boot has been a great purchase. It is really, I mean, it's such a little thing, but it's made a big difference um, in just, my enjoyment of this water bottle, I should say. And I also um, splurged on a new cap for my water bottle. My other one had taken a beating. My toddler likes to drink out of it. She kind of chews on it, so it was a little beat up. Um, so I, I, I noticed they actually sell like um, ones with different colors on them now. So I got a navy boot and a, a new navy water bottle top. And this is the straw attachment. I find it very, very effective. That's how I prefer to drink my water is through a straw. Um, and it's great. Another new thing that they've come out with is a tumbler style water bottle. This is a 30 ounce. Um, this water bottle is 40 ounces. This is a 30 ounce tumbler. Um, this is awesome. I really like this uh, because it mimics my favorite kind of like water vessel from before that I've always had plastic versions of. But this is my same favorite Hydro Flask like construction, just in a tumbler form. And actually, it fits much better in my car. Um, so you see the bottom, how it um, tapers in. It fits into my car cup holder, whereas this does not. I'd have to buy like a car cup holder extension thing for my car. So this is great and having a hydro flask in the car, whether it's winter or summer here in Chicago where it's either one extreme or the other, is nice because it keeps my water, like I said, the temperature I put it in the, 
in and I don't have to worry about it getting so hot in the car in the summer or turning to ice in the winter. Um, it's really, really great. So I really love those things I thought I would share. Okay, multimedia. I read a book, what a concept. I know. Um, I read this book, Women, Food, and Desire, Honor Your Cravings, Embrace Your Desires, Reclaim Your Body by Alexandra Jameson. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm not quite sure how to um, like summarize the book very well, but I will try. <laughs> uh, Lord knows I don't, don't do the best book summaries, but um, I have been going kind of on this, well, not kind of, there's no kind of about it. I've been on this personal wellness journey, basically since I gave birth to my son, which started out more out of concern for him and, and kind of altering my diet as a breastfeeding mom to accommodate any sensitivities he was having when he was newborn with gas and stuff. We've kind of, He's kind of grown out of that stuff. He's just starting to grow out of that stuff. And I've, I've been reincorporating some of the things that I eliminated, el eliminated from my diet. But I've also been increasingly learning more about my body, first of all, what it likes to eat, what it doesn't, and then externally, more information, like actual evidence-based, like scientific information on foods and how your body digests certain things and, and all that stuff. I've been on this journey, I would say, and a more purposeful one in the past few months. Um, and I've been realizing that I've just been very, very disconnected from my body and what it needs to feel nourished and what it needs to feel cared for for a long time. And I can't remember how I came across this book. I think somebody I follow recommended it. I can't remember who, but it is great. It really gives you, it really gives you um, a good framework to reclaiming, reclaiming your body. Um, I feel like especially as women and in our culture, it's very easy and almost encouraged to distance ourselves from what our body truly wants and needs to feel nourished and taken care of. And this, and my changing relationship with food and my changing relationship with like body image and self-care, this just slotted in so nicely to it. I feel like this was a really good jumping off point for me on this like journey deep, this deep dive, I should say. And I think it would make a great read for anybody really. Um, it's very, it just helps you, I think, open your eyes a little bit wider, I would say. So I, I recommend it for sure. And then other multimedia, um, in terms of a YouTuber I've been kind of binging on lately is Lily Koi Hawaii. And this is a awesome lady who lives out in Hawaii. I believe she lives on the main island. She, um, you know, she advocates a plant-based diet, a uh, whole food plant-based diet, um, which I've been kind of incorporating more and more into how I approach nutrition. But I just really like her videos. First of all, she's a wealth of information. She's obviously very, very smart and does due diligence with researching, like very thorough. And she presents all of these very factual, um, you know, things about nutrition and, and food and, and, all, and just general well-being in a very palatable way. She's also very kind of tongue-in-cheek, a bit sarcastic. Um, I have to warn you, she does swear quite a bit, so if you have little kids around when you're watching your videos, you just want to be aware of that. She drops the F-bomb quite a bit. Um, but uh, I really like her personality, and she's she just like one of those say-it-like-it-is people. She doesn't you can tell she doesn't take any gruff, you know? She does, She takes no gruff. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend her if you're looking for, um, just to delve into learning more about um, plant-based diet, whole food plant-based diets, and also um, just wanna learn more about food and nutrition in general. I think she's she's great and she's she kind of, um, she was one of the first pieces, in addition to like things like this book, that's gotten me really more interested in researching a whole foods plant-based diet and, and what that means for your body and just to, with my own personal experimentation with that kind of eating too. Um, so I can't recommend her enough. Check her out. I will link her as with everything else I'm talking about available 
below. Um, where are we? Tasty treats. Okay. Speaking of Lily Koi Hawaii, Lily is her name. Um, I really enjoyed her smoothie recipe video, which I have linked before and I will link again that specific video because it inspired me to start incorporating more smoothies into my diet. Um, and I've been really, really enjoying them. Now, you know, the jury's out, I think, on whether smoothies are truly the best nutrition way to eat that amount of fruit and vegetables. Um, some people think you want to chew the whole fruit. Some people think whatever, it's fine. I think it's more whatever works for your body. If it feels good in your body, just really, you gotta really listen. Take your mind out of the equation and just listen to what your body's saying and, and then go from there. That's what I've been trying to do. I've been working on that. So the smoothies have been great. My body's been really enjoying them. So I took uh, a lot of inspiration from her, her video about her smoothie recipes. In fact, mostly directly from them. And that's, those are the smoothies I've been kind of rotating. Um, but I have as my first meal of the day, every day, um, lately, uh, for the most part. So I have just been all out obsessed and I've actually started posting some of my smoothie recipes on Instagram and I just realized there's a thing called Instagram highlights where you can save things. Um, so I have, I've just started saving. I have a couple of them on there now. Um, so if you want to see what kind of smoothies I have been enjoying lately, I will keep posting them there um, what, as I remember. That's the main thing is I remember to post them. Um, but yeah, I've been loving smoothies, loving my Nutribullet, which I think I talked about last month in my favorites. It's a great, great kitchen accessory been great for me and even um charlotte likes to drink my smoothies too so i share with her and it's been fun fun times okay last but not least mommy picks for donnie i wanted to get a different car seat for donnie i had the nuna pippa with charlotte and i just i wasn't enthused about it she really didn't like it we used it with donnie for the first few weeks and he didn't like it either I know a lot of people love it. I just, my kids did not like it. Um, and I had been watching so many British mommy vloggers when I was like, you know, the first month of Donnie's life um, and before that. And a lot of them had the, this cool car seat called Duna. It's a Duna car seat slash stroller. And it's this cool thing that combines an infant car seat with a stroller. So basically it's an infant car seat with a stroller built in, it's just like, mind-blowing it's just like whoever th thought of this is a genius it is so convenient and I was like okay we'll try that so I ordered it and Donnie really likes it and I really like it because it's so convenient to get him in and out of the car and then just quickly release the stroller part and that bang I have him in a stroller it comes in so handy the only downside about this car seat is that it is significantly heavier than the Nuna, or I think many other car seats, because it has wheels attached to it and a stroller frame. Um, so it is a little bit heavy. Not so heavy that I can't manage it, but I wouldn't want to carry it for a long time. That being said, I don't really have to because it has wheels attached. So that's the payoff there. But I highly recommend it. I think it's so convenient. It's so great, especially having a second child as well. When I need hands, I need to be able to hold her hand and push the stroller and not have to worry about awkwardly holding a heavy car seat, you know, while I'm trying to hold, trying and even pick up Charlotte and wheel it, you know, it just works out great. So I really, really love that. It's definitely been a favorite. And I wanted to wait to talk about it till we'd had it for several months and I was sure how much I loved it. And I do. Um, and then for Charlotte, and I, I got a lot of questions about this in my last vlog. Her little rain kit is so cute. Um, so cute, I love it. I actually bought, I think both of these things on Amazon. So here's her little raincoat um, I bought on Amazon. Um, isn't this adorable? It's really nice. I was looking for a raincoat that had a light lining to it because I feel like anytime she really needs a raincoat, it's gonna be like, I want her to have a bit of a lining. We have windbreakers and, and lighter weight things for summer already, but I wanted her to have like a proper slicker, as they say, a rain slicker. 
Um, and I just, classic yellow, you can't go wrong. And she loves it. And it was a really good price on Amazon. And then these um, rain boots are by Crocs. And actually my, one of my friend's um, toddlers had these and that's what inspired me to get them because they're easy for Charlotte to work on pulling on and off, especially with the little handle. Um, and they're basically Crocs, but in boot form. Brilliant. So they're so easy to not only put on and off, but easy to clean because you can just like rinse them off or hose them off and they're lightweight. So they're easy for toddlers to wear. Um, so those would be my toddler picks from the month of May. And you guys, I think that is everything. Wow. That is everything. All my favorites from May and um, big life favorite has just been my family, we had Mother's Day, we had Memorial Day, two big family celebrations um, in our lives, you know, just with getting together with everybody and it's just been wonderful. I've just really enjoyed celebrating Mother's Day now as a mommy of two and that was so much fun. We had brunch with the family and it was just a nice, kind of easy day and then Memorial Day we had a barbecue and Don, you know, smoked his meat that he likes to do and everybody enjoyed that and and the kids ran around playing and Charlotte's been singing your grand old flag she learned it at her little toddler program and she's obsessed with that song right now and it's just been it's just been great we've had a great month and I'm so looking forward to summer we have a lot of fun things coming up some travel we're going to Utah in August more travel in September and just Donnie's just blossoming. He's at the four month mark. I feel like the babies just really turn into babies. They're like not newborns anymore. They're suddenly babies with real like, you know, interest and engagement and just so many new tricks up their sleeves. And it's just been a fun time. Anyway, that's what's going on in my corner of the woods. I hope you guys are all well uh, and I will see you real soon. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care, bye.